Hi, I'm Dr. Marianne Cintron, founder of Step-by-Step -Step Dyslexia Solutions, a 501c3 nonprofit charitable organization. If the lesson I share with you inspires you and you want to learn more, please subscribe to the channel and also um, consider making a small donation at dyslexia-solutions.com. Today, I wanna to teach you the syllable type using um, a consonant LE. So those would be like sizzle. Um, I'm gonna show you some of the cards. Uh, DLE as in puddle, GLE like snuggle, PLE, apple, ZLE, puzzle, TLE, BLE, KLE. And how we wanna begin this, how I begin it, is I introduce other suffixes. Ed, er, tress, less, ses, est, and, and look at this suffix, full. Well, we have a consonant LE that says full. And this is so confusing to kids. How do they know whether to use this one or this one? This is a suffix. This one is a syllable type and we have that sneaky E that comes in, our sneaky E comes in with the silent E. So these syllable types are called turtle words. So these are so fun to teach. What I wanna show you is how we do this. So we write the word tur, Turtle, okay? What you want your student to do is code the vowels and the consonants will be inside. But we wanna start at the back of the E and count back three. So this is our syllable, turtle. We have a lot of words. And I have the student practice with a lot of these words. I'm just gonna show you. So I, I use this with my projector and I do it with the child. I have a, a lamp on my computer and I dictate the words and I write and code with the student and they have so much fun. Here are some more. So this is a three day exercise that I do. The first day I introduce turtle words and um, the easier ones that are very um, typical, we have consonant teams in our turtle words. For example, the word goggles or bubbles or sizzle and fiddle. They have um, consonant teams. I mean, these are uh, twins, if you could see that. So, I also want to share that on day two, I'll separate them with um, the long vowel is first, as in the word table, idol, cradle, Bible. So when there's a long vowel in the first syllable, it's going to just be followed by, by the ending syllable of consonant LE. But when we introduce words that have a short vowel in the first syllable, there's gonna be a protector consonant before the consonant LE. That's why we double the B in bubble. That's why we double the Z in uh, sizzle. That's why we add an R in purple. So kids will typically forget letters and syllables so when you teach the turtle words, it'll remind them that there's letters there. So when a student writes purple, they're not gonna forget the R because the short vowel means it needs another letter. Sound out purr, and then sound out pull. Some of the other things I like to teach are, we use a trace coffee cover close, which looks like this. So we introduce it where we, the parent writes it out since we're on Zoom, the CLE, which stands for consonant LE, K, 
count back three, consonant L-E, back, count back three. So the student writes that three times, copies it in the middle column, covers what he or she has written, and says it again. As they write it, they're saying it. And then they turn the paper over, close their eyes, and they write consonant L-E, count back three. The other thing I do is I have uh, pictures that go with the card. So when I talk about kettle, snuggle, middle, apple, ruffle, twinkle, sizzle. So these are my personal cards that I have had drawn up. And they're available. If you want to go to my website, they're in my store. You can get the pictures and you could get them in a small size. So your student can separate them after he or she has learned them. The other thing I do is I have words in um, a table and I have the student point out the uh, turtle word with consonant teams. So they would recognize sizzle, bubble, apple. And then I have the student read the words in syllable parts and then say the whole word. It's almost as if we're using uh, flashcards with syllables, uh, one syllable on the front, one syllable on the back. And then they say the whole word from memory. And then I have the child read some sentences that I've written up. And then I ask questions of those sentences. So those sentences contain the words with the consonant L-E in it. So that's just a brief um, little mini lesson of teaching consonant L-E, which is a very important syllable type. Students have already learned camel words where the first syllable has a short vowel. They've learned um, tiger words where the syllable has a long vowel in the first syllable. Now they're ready for, um, and they've learned rabbit words where there's two consonants in between two vowels. Now they're ready for turtle words. So we use pictures to help describe the syllables. It really, really helps kids. I hope you like this um, YouTube and you share it with others and please subscribe to our channel and if what I've shared inspires you, please consider making a small donation. My tutoring uh, so far is keeping the nonprofit going forward. So any help you can give would be very appreciated. Thank you so much and have a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye now.